One of the ways to prove something happened is to get witnesses. So the question we're going to ask is, were there any witnesses to the resurrection of Jesus Christ? Did anybody see it? Can anybody give evidence to the fact that that really did happen? Well, Paul in 1 Corinthians 15, you can understand he's, he's writing a letter to churches. He's trying to convince people that Jesus rose from the dead. And Paul says, look, we saw him. We have seen him. We are witnesses. So here's Paul saying he's a witness to the resurrection. And you might think, oh, well, that's convenient. Paul, the guy who's telling the story, is his own witness. But here's the deal. In 1 Corinthians 15, we find something very fascinating. Paul not only says, hey, we've seen him, the disciples, but he said Jesus appeared to more than 500 people at one time. And then Paul says this, most of whom are still alive. This is a game changer when it comes to the resurrection. Here's Paul spreading a resurrection story in the amount of time where people were still alive to have witnessed the event. So if you had a question about, hmm, is this real, Paul? I don't know. Paul would say, hey, I've got 500 witnesses to back this up. And guess what? They're not dead. Most of them are still alive. You can go to their house. You can knock on their door and you can ask them. 500 people will tell you the same story. They saw Jesus risen from the dead. They saw him come back to life and Jesus actually visited with them. So the amount of witnesses that we have during the first century as this story was being spread gives so much validity that it wasn't a made up story. It wasn't a legend. It was an actually event that happened. And Paul could say, hey, if you don't believe me, go look at all these witnesses. There's 500 people that will tell you the same story. The story that God became a man gave his life for us, and then rose from the dead on the third day.